Hey, what's up guys? Thank you all for tuning in to my 24th episode of Project Renaissance Man. And what I'm going to be talking about today is I would like to give you all uh, three pointers on how to uh, better form your circle, um, your tight-knit circle of really close friends and dear family members. Uh, because a strong circle um, can take us very far when it comes to our journey towards becoming better versions of ourselves. Of course, we're not, we're holding ourselves accountable and we are taking responsibility and doing what we must do uh, to ensure that we can become better people because ultimately that does fall on us. Um, but that doesn't mean that we um, should neglect or turn down opportunities to have strong, lasting connections that are going to both help us and the people that uh, we are connecting with. And so with that being said, I'm going to introduce three things that I always look for um, when I think about, you know, deciding if I feel a person's good for my circle. And I think that these people should do the same thing. Um, and keep in mind, this is all about give and take. It's not like you look at a person and they're like a means to an end. It's like, what can I get from this person? How can they strengthen my circle? But I'm not going to do anything for them. Not at all. That's not even a genuine connection. Um, it's all about making sure that you're giving to them as much as you're, you're getting from them. Um, that's a good, healthy uh, connection. So um, that's what you're looking for. Um, but nonetheless, you still should be seeking out these three things in the person that is going to become a part of your circle. Uh, so the very first one is fire. And when I say fire, of course, that's figurative for passion, ambition, drive. These are the types of people you want to surround yourself with. Um, because even if you don't wholly understand what their own dreams are, or you're not as enthused about their dreams as they are, uh, because it could be a subject that you're really not into, it doesn't mean you can't get behind them and support them. Um, and just them radiating that kind of energy, that passionate energy is going to be something that is going to feed your yourself and your own energy. So that's why it's so important to surround yourself with people of the same energy um, that are like supernovae. They're just soaring across the sky, limitless, boundless, and bright, you know, um, quite the spectacle we can be. So you want to... Um, you want to definitely surround yourself with those types of people. Uh, the second pointer I have, the, the second quality you want to find in people is loyalty. Um, this is a huge one. Uh, you want people that are going to stick around when things get really difficult, just as you would stick around for them, you know, when things get hard for them. Um, the really cool thing about this is uh, the people that, you know, are going to not be very loyal when things get rough. Uh, they typically are brittle and they, they bail very quickly um, at the sight of a slight wind, let alone a, a, a wind storm. So um, that's good because it means that we're not going to, we will not have invested too much time, energy, anything like that into those people uh, before they decide to dip, um, which is great. Uh, but yeah, this is what you want to do. You want to feel people out and you want to see if, if, Loyalty is something that develops, of course, so there's a certain level of trust you have to put into somebody, but nonetheless, um, there are telltale signs, I feel, that you can see in people um, that demonstrate them to have potential to be extremely loyal individuals, and so you, you want to really look for this. Um, one of the ways you can gauge this is to see how loyal they are to certain things in their lives. You know, do they really stick by what they believe in, um, are they fixed in a way um, that they're not going to compromise when it comes to certain things? Because if they are this way, then there's a high chance that they're going to, you know, be much more likely to be loyal to you. So, and of course you want to be loyal to them. And then the third quality that I like to seek out, and this just is natural, and I, I love this quality. It's just a natural connection. Um, if you feel you just naturally connect with people, that's a great indication. Just because um, th there, there's something, there's so many intangibles to this. There's so many things that 
gets you pondering, why do I connect so well with this person? And when you have that kind of connection, it doesn't need to be explained, to be honest with you, uh, because it's just a great connection. And all that needs to be known is that it's a strong connection, it's a healthy connection, and you will know when it feels right. And so, um, yes, you want to make sure that you have a natural connection with this person. And I have several people in my circle that I have this type of connection with. And it's one of the best connections you can have. Um, you know, one of the things that, that happens when you have this kind of connection is you start to even think about these people when they're not around. Um, you may have admiration for certain qualities they possess. So I have a couple friends out in other states um, who have qualities that I totally love. And I think about those people when I really want to um, develop those qualities within myself. And, you know, you, you hear every so often that we used to have the what would Jesus do sort of thing going on. Well, you can apply that to anything. What would this person do or what would this person do? Um, because actions need to be separated from the individual. Uh, there are wicked people in the world who have admirable qualities. It's just they're using their power or whatever it is for the wrong reasons. So um, there, I don't. I don't really admire people, but I admire qualities. And so, anyways, not to get off topic, uh, you want to find those natural connections out there. The ones that aren't forced, the ones that aren't contrived. Um, if, it's, if it demands coer like you to force the, yourself to connect with somebody, it's not meant to be. Um, I would give a connection time just to see how it develops because they don't always... Um, show their true potential immediately, especially not if you just had met somebody. But, you know, you got to feel people out. But also be conscientious of how much time you're putting into that because, um, you know, it, we can easily fall into that trap where we've put so much time into somebody, we feel like, it's almost like um, when you read, you're partway through a book and the book just sucks, but you've come so far so you're like, well, I may as well finish it. Well, that's terrible. Just drop the book, you know, and that's kind of this a similar um, way to look at certain connections. If you put a lot of time into somebody, that doesn't mean invest more time into them just because you've already invested so much. It's just really bad logic. So um, just get out. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys today uh, for the 24th episode. Thank you all again for tuning in. I just got another subscriber, I think like two days ago. Thanks, John, for subscribing. Um, and... I'm going to be letting you guys go now, so um, if you guys feel this video has uh, benefited you and you have enjoyed watching it, please be sure to give me a like, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you all on Saturday. Later.